guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my winter favorites this is gonna be a favorite slash winter essentials kind of video I haven't done a favorites video in like forever maybe since July I haven't done a favorites video and I feel weird making like a favorites because there's so many things that I've tried since then um, so I kind of wanted to like just make sure that I mention the things that I'm really using right now most of this stuff I just got within the past couple months so it is technically a favorites but it's mostly just winter stuff in this video I'm actually going to be using some bags to keep me organized these bags are from a site called BJ's wholesale and um, I'll have a link in the description box to where you can find these bags anytime I do favorites videos I have to like gather all of my stuff and it's everywhere it's either in the bathroom and my purse or in my beauty area and I have to put it all in something so um, I have my body and face stuff in here as you can see it's a lot of stuff and then um, I have my makeup items in this bag I'm a mess I'm really unorganized most of the time when I do videos like this so I'm trying to be more organized. I be walking around the house with like my arms full of stuff. So this is convenient. But these are actually bags that I would like put in my purse or travel with. Um, they actually came like kind of in a like stacked into a bag like this. This is the clear bag. And then these are more of like, I love, typically use bags like this for when I'm traveling so in my purse I'll put like my cords on the plane like if I need my ginger chews or I literally have a bag just for ginger chews I'm not even lying to you guys toiletry items so like you know things that I need for my women parts wipes pads you always want to keep stuff in separate bags and I always talk about that you need compartments for your purse or your suitcase or whatever because you never want anything to just start rolling out of your bag because that's embarrassing like i said i will make sure to put the link in the description box to where you can find these bags i'm actually going to start with the body stuff so we're going to go in the body bag first there's actually going to be a lot of keels stuff in here if you guys don't know i had two keels meetups this year and the store manager in new york is really sweet her name is terry she's super super sweet i love her um and she helped put together two events for me one for me and one for me and raven when we went in october for breast cancer awareness so um i was able to snag some stuff um when i had my meet and greets there i must say that my love for keels has grown tremendously i've already i've already tried a lot of their skincare products but their body stuff is just as bomb i just cannot be ashy i can't be dry i hate it especially because i get waxed frequently i cannot be dry like it is like a sin to have dry crackly skin like you gotta exfoliate the mess out of your body or else your hair is not gonna come out good so i have to make sure that i'm silky smooth at all times i have the the creme de corp line so this is an oldie but goodie this has actually been out for a very very long time this is creme de corp soy milk and honey body butter amazing i've used pretty much all of it because it's so good if you like the smell of honey this smells amazing i tried not to use too much of it because i know that i can be heavy-handed with the body butter and i run out too quickly whip body butter with shea and jojoba butters my mom gave me um, a jar of shea butter when i went to texas but i just can't seem to like get the hang of it because it's so hard that it's hard for me to work with quickly but this is like whipped magic it's like putting whipped cream on your body it's amazing i also really like the creme de corp uh smoothing oil to foam body cleanser and the nourishing dry body oils this is a spray oil i spray this on after i get out of the shower this is a cleanser so it goes on like an oil but then it foams up and turns into a body wash so both of these are really really good in conjunction with each other they make me smell really nice and they make my skin really soft but not overly oily like i said i love exfoliating um and i've talked to you guys about the um soap and glory scrub that i use on my body religiously and i still use that um but one of the another body scrubs that i just recently got introduced to is this scrub by anise i want to say it's anise and this is the that booty though <laughs> i'm not even kidding that's literally what it's called that booty though and it is a walnut shell booty scrub and it's like actually made specifically for your booty i bet you're probably wondering why do i need a scrub just for my booty for those of you who are blessed with beautiful perfect voluptuous booties 
congratulations, you won. But some of us have cellulite, we have stretch marks, dark marks, whatever. You know how people get back knee? Some people get back knee. Okay, we're just gonna be honest about it here, okay? Don't, don't act like everybody got a perfect booty because we don't all have perfect booties, okay? This scrub is made for us who don't have as perfect of a booty, okay? It said it on the website that it helps with cellulite, booty acne, scars, stretch marks, all that kind of stuff. And the scrub is not harsh and abrasive. It's like really soft, it feels like sand. It works. And the bootay is silky. Okay, moving forward. This year I've been on the hunt for an aluminum free deodorant that actually works and doesn't make my underarms sweat like crazy. Um, now I know that there is a detoxing period that your underarms are supposed to go through, but that detoxing period to me should not last for six months. Previously I was using like Tom's or Schmidt's um, and those weren't really doing it for me. They made my underarms feel mushy and gross. This is the only natural deodorant that I found that doesn't have aluminum or parabens in it that actually works for me. And this is the Arm & Hammer Essentials Deodorante. It's like really clear. It's not white at all, so it doesn't leave a white residue at all, which is fabulous. It smells really, really fresh. I like all Arm & Hammer products. Now, if you notice your underarms get dark, you probably should stop using aluminum deodorant and stick to something like this. I believe because this has baking soda in it and because it doesn't have aluminum, like it really helped to lighten up my underarms and keep me fresh all day and I don't sweat when I wear this. So it's really, really, it really, really helps with that. Okay, okay, moving on to the face stuff. As far as like skincare goes, you guys know I'm really, um, I haven't really changed up my skincare routine much for the winter time. I do have to transition a few products like moisturizers, um, but for face washes and like my serums that I use and stuff, I do not change up my skincare. I use pretty much the same skincare all year round because I need hydration regardless of what season it is. The drier my skin is, the more oily I get, and then my skin breaks out because it's irritated and stuff. So hydration is key for me. So I was actually using this in the summer and it's been transitioning me well into the winter time as well. And I also use it when I'm flying because that also dries my skin out like crazy. So this is the Kiehl's Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. And the Kiehl's team, when I went to Kiehl's, they told me that I should try this if I have dehydrated skin. Cause y'all know if you go to Kiehl's, they'll give you a consultation and let you know how hydrated your skin is. And mine is always dehydrated. So if you haven't Try the essence before it's basically like a water uh like put a few drops in your hand and you like pat it into your skin after you wash your face immediately after you wash your face um and it kind of i don't know it just makes your skin really supple and this activating essence is actually said to help your your skin absorb the products that you're going to put on top so it's like a primer for your skincare i've noticed a huge difference in how well my skin is absorbing my my skincare products and i think that's what's making my skin look so amazing um now of course this by itself is not making my skin look amazing but it helps it helps to enhance if you will the products that you're gonna put on top. So I've been loving this. As you can see, I've only used that much of it and I've used it every single day, like since August. So, I mean, I feel like you get a, your money's worth out of it because it's huge. Speaking of dryness, y'all lips get crusty? Cause mine do, especially cause I'm doing 25 days of red lips. I'm, kind of drying my lips out so I have to make sure my lips are really moisturized. You need a lip scrub in your life. If you don't have a lip scrub, baby girl, let me tell you, you need to get one ASAP Rocky. My favorite one currently at the moment, you won't be able to read it because the words have rubbed off, but this is by MAC and this is their MAC Lip Scrubtious. And this is the Sweet Brown Sugar flavor. This is my favorite one. There's a bubblegum one, but I don't like bubblegum as much as this one but this is the one that I use. And then after I scrub my lips, I do Rosebud Salve. Rosebud Salve is the best lip moisturizer there is. Let me just tell you, like, I cannot get enough of this. I don't know, like, you know how some lip balms, they don't really do much for you? This does much for me. I like this better than the Agave Lip Mask from Bite Beauty. Like, I haven't even went back to buy that. I bought this again because it doesn't last long enough for me. I don't know. I don't know. I love this. And I keep little 
Jack Black lip balms everywhere too. This is a good lip balm for like throughout the day, like if you just need a touch up. Um, so I keep these everywhere. I keep the, one on my desk, one in my purse, one in my car. And earlier this year when I was having um, issues with my lips because I tried a lip plumper that I should not have tried. Um, and it kind of discolored my lips a bit. I had to start using SPF on my lips to keep the sun from like making the dark spots darker. Started using these and I really like them. Um, so I normally just keep these like on hand for when I'm about to go outside because I mean they have SPF 25 in them so it's supposed to protect from the sun. I have this bad boy. Now this, my friends, I've talked about this on Snapchat um, maybe like three or four times and I cannot stop talking about this and I'm just like, I wanted to make this video just so I can talk about this because you guys need to know the magic that is in this bottle. This is very small, I know. It's $30 for this little tube. It works and it's worth the money. I got this from Sephora. This is by Tata Harper. And this is the Tata Harper Clarifying Solution. So basically you put this on any acne spots, active acne spots that you have. Um, and it is all natural, it's non-toxic. I know I've tried a lot of other acne spot treatments before. This works overnight, no lie fax no printer and I've shown before and afters before I have had active pimples on my face and the night that I squeeze her and then I will put this on there in the morning flat flat I don't know what's in it I don't remember but it's amazing go on Sephora's website and read about it but it works really fast and it's really really good so go get it go get it okay Go get your blessing. That's the body stuff. All right, moving on to makeup stuff. In the winter time, my makeup routine changes up a little cause I don't need as much oil control as I do hydration. So I tend to lean more towards hydrating products um, that are gonna help balance my skin in the winter time. I love face moisturizers. I actually just bought a new one um, it's the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich, and I'm really excited to try that. My, my mom told me to buy it, so I'm really excited because if she says it's good, then it's good. Normally, I reach for my Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. This is my favorite wintertime moisturizer. It is a illuminating moisturizer. It smells like marshmallows um, and it's just really good. Um, so putting this on before my makeup always helps me to retain moisture well. My skin looks glowy and luminous. Makeup goes on good, it's not oily or greasy, so I really like that. I do a lot to prime my skin, y'all. Like I prime like three or four times before I put makeup on nowadays because I just believe in taking care of your skin underneath your makeup. A lot of the primers that I use are hydrating, moisturizing primers. I don't tend to use mattifying primers as much because I feel like they make me even more oily. I love the Fundamental by Collab. This is their hydrating primer. And I have a whole video doing a full face using Collab makeup. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check that out. Collab is the new brand at Sally's that was created by influencers, including Raven Elise TV, just in case you didn't know. Shout out to your girl my tall it doesn't make me oily or greasy and actually my skin looks like just matte and smooth after I put this on it doesn't look shiny at all um, so I feel like it really helps to balance my skin out this has become a staple product for me I cannot put my makeup on without putting this on first this is the Farsali unicorn essence um, and it's like pink and it's kind of like sparkly like it's a skin enhancing antioxidant serum I feel like it helps to make my skin um, healthy underneath my makeup so that my makeup isn't like seeping into my pores and totally killing my pores, you know what I'm saying? So this kind of like blocks the makeup from getting into your pores and trapping dirt and oil and stuff in there. I just feel like it makes my makeup go on so much smoother and it lasts a lot longer too. Smashbox has a really good line of um, primers. They have the primerizer, 
which is really good. This is a priming moisturizer as well. You can use this in place of a moisturizer and to prime your skin. So it does two in one. This reminds me a lot of the Glossier priming moisturizer. I don't have any more of that. I've used it all up, but I really like that one too. Smashbox also has a primer oil. So if you tend to be a bit more dry skinned it did, this is really good for you. Uh, I heard a lot of people say that the Fenty foundation doesn't work well for them because their skin is dry. Use a drop of this in your foundation, sis change your life. The Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. If your under eyes tend to be a little more sunken in, like I have one, like this part of my eye right here, just this eye, just on this one, it'd be like sunken in and my concealer does not like to go over that for some reason. It just doesn't work right there. So I have to use something hydrating there to kind of like help with that. This has coconut oil in it so it helps to like plump up my under eye right there. And I feel like it really works. And it's also not drying because sometimes concealers can be kind of dry on your under eyes. Um, you don't want them to be too dry because then your under eyes will cake up and it'll look nasty. This is something I feel like you cannot go the winter time without getting. And you gotta get you a good red lip, girl. So like I said before, I'm doing 25 days of red lips. So I'm wearing red lipstick every day until Christmas time. You can still join me. I mean, it's only the fifth day. So you like got 20 days left, Yeah, It's a lot of days. Use the hashtag 25 days of red so I can see your pics. Slay your red lips, boo. This is the red lip that I've been rocking the past five days. The Fenty Beauty Stunna Lipstick. I love this packaging. It's super, super cute. And I also really like the applicator itself. Um, it's like, it's not a doe foot and it's not like a regular wand. It's kind of got like a little rat foot. I don't know. <laughs> foot and I feel like it applies just enough product um it is a little hard to control it's kind of slippery so if you don't put on a lip liner you may have to move a little bit slower with this one it does dry down matte but if you put on enough of it it can appear to be really glossy you know what I'm saying but it's not glossy I don't know I don't know how to describe it but to me it's not like a regular liquid lipstick I feel like it's kind of more versatile than a liquid lipstick it does transfer just a tiny bit, um, but if you do kiss something or someone, it's gonna come off on them a little bit. To me, this is like the longest lasting red lip I've ever worn other than Ruby Woo, just because I can eat a whole meal and it will still be on. Even when it wears off, it's still there. So it's more like a lip stain. <sighs> Riri just never disappoints me, boo. Like, Riri be doing it. She out here making products and I ain't even mad. You taking all my coins, girl. Take them, you can have them. I don't even need my coins. Who keeps coins anyway? That is all for my winter essentials slash favorites. Um, I'm going to do a winter essentials slash favorites for clothing as well. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanted to know more information about where to get these bags from BJ's Wholesale, I will make sure to put that in the description box so you guys can check that out. Before I forget, I know you guys have some questions. So first of all, of course I talked about the Fenty lip that I'm wearing right now. This is the Victoria Loose Curly wig. Um, and I did a video on her and her sister, Victoria First Lady. It is 20 inches long. It is luxurious and big and Diana Rossi and I love it. Giving me life and it's keeping me warm for the winter. So I'm not mad. Link will be in the description box. Um, but that's it. Other than that, that is all. So, peace out.